Oh my god, that's live. New blood. Oh my god, my ears. Fuck. This soundtrack going though. Oh hell yeah. September it's still really loud. It's still really loud. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. It's really loud. I have to finish what I started. And I have to turn down the game volume, Jesus Christ. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. You can stop screaming. Oh no, ow, 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 ow. Oh my god. Alright. What's up, Reds? Welcome to Faith, the Unholy Trinity. This is a horror game I planned to play a while ago, but uh, I've only just not gotten around to it. So, it's supposed to be a little scary. Give a few spooks. Hopefully, it gives me, gives me the chills. Turns my balls into a couple of BBs that then drop off and fall. Hitting the ground as I shriek out in fear. Or maybe it won't. We'll see. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. New game. New game. Confirm. I have no save files. I've never touched this game before. Soundtrack goes hard though. You have forgotten already? Already? Jesus. This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Press the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Was I supposed to do something about that? Was what? 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 <laughs> okay, it's it's the same. That time it's a deer. What? Oh. Okay, that's how that works. Walker came from my ass, Jesus. I don't know what's in that well. I hope nothing important. Hey dear. Bye dear. Where's the deer go? Where'd the deer go? Get back here, bitch. Get your ass back here. What have we here? Cool. I'm gonna stay close to the sides in case Mr. Uh, for that reason exactly. It's the deer again. There's another one. Suck my nuts, suck my balls. Piss off. That's right. Oh shit. I'm about to suffer. Goodbye. Oh. We gone. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> that might have been helpful. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looking like it's dying. All the needle all, all the needles are falling off and it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. 
She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me any about uh, talk to me anymore. Oh, that way. I have the power of God and anime on my side. The oh, fuck was that? Not as long as I have my Jesus stick. Fear my Jesus stick. The Barton's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of gra uh, the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Baller... Allred seemed to know he was going. Know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead while we arrived until we arrived at the house. In the headlight I saw an old shed off the off to the right of the path. Baller Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present it's difficult to proceed with the elements of the elements of the right that may seem harsh to lay on the person. I saw that shit in that window. Believe in Jesus. I love Jesus. That's right. Run away from my Jesus. Jesus. This pond needs some Jesus. Is that wait? I thought that was a pond. Jesus. Jesus. I got some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. <laughs> Y'all hear that? That's not a coffee. Give me alive. Give me a strong. Jesus! 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 I got cut on the tree. The soundtrack goes hard. Ah, oh, I knew it. Yes, I'm a genius. Fear my Jesus. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in strands. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. He was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. I don't trust this painting. I'm gonna commit. Jesus! <laughs> Dang, rip Amy. Jesus! So Amy was in the attic. I can Jesus the fridge. A lovely drawing. Let's see what's up back. To Jesus. The plant needs Jesus. The TV. TV needs Jesus. TV. Oh. How about the lamp? This lamp looks like a heathen. The lamp needs Jesus. Oh, I see when I look in the mirror. Wait a minute. Hmm, I'm sure it's nothing. Jesus. To the attic, but I tell there's a downstairs. What about here? There's a coat. And I has? No, I guess not. I guess stealing people's clothes and part of uh, being a priest could have fooled me. Let's go in the basement. 
This is where the real Jesus needs to go. The fuck? Jesus. Oh, the game. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbabwa. Quim... Qui... That religion. It's what you might call a pagan religion. Oh, okay. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religion. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and accident. Okay, and according to him, he prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking right after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Layton. Jesus! Nah, this place needs Jesus. Oh, stepbrother, I'm stuck! I'm sorry, bad joke. I don't like this shit. Y'all need Jesus. 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 Okay, we're good. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But Jesus better be the one coming through that door. That don't look like Jesus. He is here. I guess I was not the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me, like when I was when I first met her downstairs. I spoke briefly. Although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it, I experienced a bit of decapitation from the demon? What? During our... What? Oh, deception! I was like, how the fuck did you experience decapitation and write a note? During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in another instance, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Jesus. Jesus! Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel subconscious about working at the clinic. Back away. I've got the power of Jesus. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed. Disoriented. Or distorted. Slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem and now and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God, bomb comes home tomorrow. Hmm. I gotta be ready for the Jesus. Jesus! Back away!
That's right. Get the fuck out of here. I can Jesus some stuff up in here. Jesus. Jesus? Why can't Jesus these? What about Simon Says? The Devil's Game. Okay, we're just back here. Take a nice here, red markings. We G's and ended up. Yeah. Jesus! <laughs> Wait, that was the attic? What are... Jesus! I did the Jesus. Now what? Can I go out back? Well, I was already in the basement. I got sent... Whoa! Okay. I was I was really worried I was gonna have to start back at the car again. She is here. She is here. I already got that note. I already got this one. I'm gonna get it again for the clout. Oh, I'll go this way this time. Oh. Is there a right one? Did I just guess correctly all those other times? Okay, you know... I already, I already know what all these notes say. Um, I'm gonna grab this one because it, no, actually I am gonna get them all because I'm just built different. So yeah, there definitely appears to be a, a right order of doing, doing those bloodstained things. That one. Okay. Okay, so it's the one that like flickers first. I kind of thought that when I was going through, just like maybe, but. My eyes. Which one? That one. Yeah, that's right. I'm fell shit. I'm fell shit. There's twins room. There's one shit in here. Fuck you. That one. Fuck you. I'm going back down to the basement. Jesus is strong. Would say not fail you. I don't fail shit. Oh, this is new. That one. I heard a door open upstairs. Did you? Okay. I guess I'll go upstairs. I could. Should I just explore the rest of the basement, though? Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside of Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back to the stairs, up, up, back up the stairs, and into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. So I went down to check on the thing. I found Father Allred lying on his back unconscious. With his arms spread open wide, Amy was not in the chair. Oh. That's not good. Well, I gotta read that note. I don't think she's gonna fuck me, but she might. I hope not. She might come down here and bone me. But we'll see. 
left me alone so far. The music also stopped, and any sounds kind of stopped. The door opened upstairs. Oh, it was probably the bloody one. I don't like how quiet this is. This is making me very uncomfortable. I just like, oh, nothing out here. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. That's amazing. I don't like that I can't use my right hand for anything. <laughs> because the mouse doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> the mouse doesn't do shit, so there's no point in me having it on it. So I just have, like, a free hand. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I don't like this. Hey, Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their visions of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She was... She... She... My superior father with when I confronted her. Oh, when I confronted her. She managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having... Are, are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Ah, Jesus. 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 My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? No. I have to finish what I started. Died, Get Jesus. Oh. More this. Oh my god, what happened to you? She's Do fucked. You okay, died. she's fucked. She's bone. I have to finish what I started. I disagree. My priest powers are strong. Well, this isn't like a time sensitive thing. So I'm trying very hard not to get fucked right now. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna suck my nuts. He's gonna tickle my my testes. Oh, he wants my balls. Go away, bitch. Mortis my ass. I was not that one. It's gotta be that one. There's no fucking way. Mortis. Oh my god, come on. Come on. Fuck you. Fuck you. That one. It's gotta be that one. I'm literally- is the pattern different this time? Is it the opposite one? Is that what it is? Mortis. Okay, it's- it's the other one. It's the opposite of the one that flickers first. I think. I sure hope. So. What? Mortis. But it's not, so yeah, I'm getting it right. Do I just have to, like, dodge? Mortis. Can I dodge? I guess I went the wrong way that time, but still. Fuck you, Amy. So it's that one, and it's gonna come from there. Oh! Get it. Ow. 
perish. Fuck you. The right now. Slide to the left. Slide down as fast as possible. Pray to Jesus. Oh, I don't like that. I don't even know what to do about that. I'm gonna be real. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Just pentagramming it up. Dodge that. What? Oh, does it just... Does that, like, red thing determine where it hits her? Is that where she's gonna be? Flapping her gums at? Oh, is she just gonna follow the pentagram? I'm so confused. Well, she basically follows the pentagram. Oh, but that shit can't hit me either. Okay. I'm just slowly streaming. So she can only go where the blood stains are at. Okay, so I want to be on basically the opposite side of her. Fuck. This is hard. It's either hard or I'm bad. I'm just gonna slide down there. I'm gonna hit her up like that. She's gonna go that way. I'm gonna be dodging that shit. Like an absolute G. Oh, like a G. Not these nuts. You ain't touching this shit. Oh, fuck her up. Oh, my god. Okay, she just went straight for my ass. Oh, I gotta pray harder. Going that way. Going that way. She's gonna end up there. Alright, I clipped that. I'll be the first to admit, I clipped that shit hard. I got clipped. That way. That way. That way. Shit across. I'll not be there for it. She'll go down like that. I'll be ready for that shit. She's not gonna go straight up, she's gonna go that way. She's gonna go that way. Fuck you! Not today, bitch! Not on my ass. Oh, she did it a fourth time. She's gonna go for it. I'm ready for that shit. Fuck you. Up to the right, but I'm ready for it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ain't no way, bitch. Go up like that. She only goes in the diagonals, so she can only end on one of the points. Oh, but she does it a fourth time. That's right. Okay. That way, that way. Okay. Everything in my mind tells me I actually should have died there. I don't know what prevented it, but I'm not going to complain. Uh oh. I just got caught in a bad spot. I just screwed the pooch on that one. Oh, that was like clockwork. That was beautiful. I got caught in a bad spot again. Oh, oh, I don't know how I survived that, but I'm not complaining. I'm just gonna go straight across there. Alright, that's new. 
That mildly sucks balls. Oh my god. That was a clip. She just got clipped. No one can tell me that clip did not just happen. That was a glorious clip. And she's gonna go to that one. She's gonna keep going. She's gonna go to that one. She's gonna send a dick hole after me. I'm gonna fuck her up. She's an idiot. She's stupid. No, I'm stupid. Oh my god, that was the exact same thing. That was the exact same thing that happened at the start. It's okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Slowly but surely. And I mean, it's real slow. It's a real slow learn, but I am getting it. She's gonna keep going. She's gonna send... Dig hole after me. Or I'm gonna dodge that shit. She's gonna make it fair. I'm just gonna let it run. I'm just gonna let it run through. That was a bit of a fuck up on my part. That's okay. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Bitch. Get your ass back here. Hey, no way am I letting you get away. Kill her. Okay. With one bullet. I'm gonna assume space is my shot. I'm gonna put down the first thing that moves. I don't care if it's a goddamn deer, I'm putting it down. Or is her ass? Bitch, I will put you down. What if I don't? If I just commit the Jesus. Was this the wrong choice? Did I just die? I think I'm dead. No, I can perform the Jesus. Did I? You better come kill me. She's okay. She'll be just fine. Um. Um. If I just sit here for a little bit, I'm kind of fucked up. Hey, dude. Don't you laugh your ass at me. Well, I made a choice. Should I have you shot her? What? Can I just leave? What? what if I didn't mean to do that? Um. Speed run to the car, question mark? If I get to the car before that guy does, uh, do I just, like, run him over? Or did I just condemn myself? What did I do here? I can get there faster. You don't got shit on me. You don't got shit on me. Enter the car. Okay, okay. Let's not immediately shoot the gun this time. Because I want to save it for his ass. I'm going to save that shit for his ass. We're going to let the girl go. Because I don't think the girl's possessed anymore. Because she didn't do anything. Oh. Oh, 
I will set up the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, okay. or the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. I didn't kill her. When faith endures. Ending 5 of 5. Jesus! Police animal experts investigate the Chupacop of remains found near ED is enlisted to help the local animal experts in the University of Connecticut after the remaining of me. But, but I have no fat near Sterling. Means that all which comes from residents are calling the Chupacabra were discovered on the Snake Metal Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of it. Of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say that in initial investigation initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorists who discovered the remains had told them a pair they appeared after to appeared of a person after arriving the scene police concluded the remains were of some kind of animal it's a matter of public safety we won't be sure about what exact we want to be sure what exactly we're dealing with here so the sterling police spokesman is clearly not a deer or a coyote, if it's an exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. The animal experts attached to the investigation and not speculate about what kind of animal had found, although they communicated the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffering from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. In chapter one. He loves me. Okay. Uh, we'll end that there. That was pretty cool. We got uh, two more chapters to go. But I like that. That was a lot of fun. Nice, nice few scares. Interesting story. There were other endings that I could go after, but I don't really have the patience for that. I will link the game in the description down below, though, if you guys want to try it for yourself. And, uh, I'll comment what ending you get. And, I'll, I don't know, I'll look up a YouTube version of what happened. But, uh, yeah, tell me what ending you get. Uh, leave a comment. Like, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to come back for more. Uh, that's about it. See you guys.